What's happening everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brad. If it's your first time here, this is Firewood at the Furnace. Welcome. Uh, also, welcome back to all the returning subscribers. I certainly appreciate each and every one of you. So, today we are still battling the August heat. As you can see, I'm standing under the tent here, try to give myself a little bit of shade. But we've got these oak rounds here that we cut up from a few weeks back, and they've just been sitting here, and I've been debating on when to tackle this project just because the heat has been relentless every single day you know upper 90s into triple digits with uh, heat and humidity so i finally decided that today was going to be the day i was at least going to get a good start on this i'm going to try to get through the whole pile the dump trailer is backed in right here in front of the splitter and i want to get this oak split because this was a standing dead oak tree as you remember the crane loaded the trailer in that video and uh, if you didn't see that i'll link it here at the top of the screen uh, but I'm going to try to get through this because this should be ready to go by next fall, uh, a year from now. And I want to get that processed and stacked so it can be ready to go. So we'll get on this today, see how the ram splitter runs, and, and see how much of this we can get done. So stick around. So the last couple times I've run the splitter, uh, I've really been noticing more often than before uh, how some of the splits when using the four-way were getting kind of caught up, especially on this side. And the reason it's getting caught up on that side is because the wedge is really gotten thin and it's a little bent, a little twisted. I don't know if you can see there from the uh, camera angle. I'll pull the wedge out here and get, get a little bit better angle. Um, but right here you can see where it's gotten thin it's really starting to deform so there's a couple options that I was thinking I could have there and that was either to uh, try to put a little weld on it and grind it down back a little thicker or just to get a new wedge so what I ended up doing was contacted John at Ram Splitter and he is shipping me a new he calls it a wing a new wing for the splitter um, to try to alleviate that problem. So today when we're splitting, you may see me having to jiggle or fight a little bit on that one side here um, to get the wood out from underneath, just because it's not a perfectly straight angle and sometimes it gets a little hung up. So hopefully here soon when that wing arrives, we will alleviate that problem. Let's get the splitter fired up. Well, it's probably been two to three weeks since I've run the splitter uh, and we've had a little bit of rain the splitter was covered up the motor was covered up so I'm sure no water's in there but we'll just see how many pulls it takes to get this bad boy going one Still a month and a half or so away, but I'm really getting excited for the Paul Bunyan show. Uh, I'm excited to meet a lot of you and hang out with a lot of you that will be there. Sounds like it's going to be a really good turnout. So if you're not familiar with the Paul Bunyan show, it's going on in October in Ohio. And there's a whole bunch of uh, other YouTube channels, a lot of our supporters and subscribers. All coming out to see us meet each other. It should be a really, really good time. So I constantly on my mind. I'm excited for that. Uh, to finally meet a lot of it.
that's kind of what I'm talking about there. That little divot in the wedge on the bottom on this side just doesn't quite get all the way through. So I'm either having to fight to get it out or tearing off the last little bit. phone overheated at some point I lost a bunch of footage but I've got about just about half of that pile done and split and I'd say I got just about half a trailer full of split nice straight looking oak firewood and I'm just about out of water in my water jug the phone's overheated I'm overheated but I'm gonna give myself one more hour to keep splitting and see what I can knock out here. 
The bigger stuff on the bottom kind of letting sit. I let the log lift on the ram splitter do that work. But the stuff that's uh, up off the ground and a little smaller and easier to manage, that's what I'm knocking out first. So I'll set you up again, see how much footage I can capture before the phone overheats once more. But uh, that's the progress report. Well, that was a little bit less than an hour that I said I was going to work, but I, I don't know if you caught it in the time lapse there, and he kept looking over my shoulder. The sky is starting to get a little brownish, gray, black looking, and I just stopped and checked the radar, and it looks like there's some pop-up thunderstorms that are headed this way. So I got to get this tent down, get the splitter covered up, and get things tidied up around here before the sky opens up. Uh, but the trailer is just about full. And we got, I would say, two thirds to three quarters of that pile of oak done. So I'm not really one to wish the summer away, but uh, part of me is starting to look forward to fall. Uh, I'm not gonna keep beating a dead horse, but the, the heat has just been brutal uh, in the past several weeks here. And while I do love summer, I love fall and spring, but fall and spring are the shortest seasons we have. So uh, when fall gets here, winter's not far behind. But when you're working in the summertime, it's like uh, I feel like you get half the work done in twice the amount of time. So splitting firewood this time of year, not the most pleasant thing to do, but it's a necessary thing to do. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's going to wrap it up for today. The ram splitter performed well as usual. You know we're going to be getting that new wedge here hopefully soon. Uh, whenever they can get it, uh, you know, machined out and shipped off to me. I'll give you a glimpse of that when it arrives. And uh, I think I'll come over here tomorrow and get the rest of this oak done. So, hope you all have a great week. Thanks for coming along with me today, and we will see you next time. Have a great week, everybody.